If you're familiar with any of the classic drum hardware that uses a step sequencer, you may prefer to make your beats this way. No problem. First hit the pad with the sound you want to record to select it. Now press the step button. Then press play. You'll see a light chasing through the pads, starting from pad 1, going up all four rows from left to right, and ending at pad 16. Each pad now represents one step of a 16-step sequence. You can activate a step by hitting the pad once, letting it up. If you hit it again, the step is gone. This way, it's easy to quickly put some drums together. To switch to another sound in the same kit, use buttons 5 and 6 at the top of the right display, which are labeled up and down. Now often you'll want to duplicate a pattern to use it as a launching point for new material. This is quick and easy. To duplicate a pattern, first press and hold the pattern button, then press and hold duplicate. Now hit the pad that corresponds to the pattern you'd like to copy, then press the pad that corresponds to the place you'd like it to go. The entire pattern has now been copied to the new location and you can immediately start modifying it. Bear in mind you could use the same method to duplicate things like sounds as well. You could make a copy of a sound and then apply different effects to it, for example. This is covered in more detail in the reference manual. Okay, now I'll add a little swing to this pattern to give it more of a shuffled feel.